hey guys welcome back this is Shrika today this is day one of our series and we are going to start with our series that's a learn SQL server in a 60 days this is a day one and I'm we are starting now okay. so um, at this is the day one I decided I will focus on the general concepts so what is data and what was the file management system what is database system what are the different models we have uh, then what are the relational databases we have what are the uh, different acid properties what is database what is tsql what is sql and what is sql server and how to open a sql server so these are the points which i'm going to cover today so let's talk one by one uh, before starting our session i just want to give us some small uh, idea about that these are the general topics these are uh, related with the sql server but also it relate with the general other database terminology or other database thing so this is just a general concept this is a uh, very good to have to know about it so i decided i will start with it so what is data so data everyone knows about data we because we work on it so data is a quality information or quality thing from which we analyze the business for example i want to understand the trend analysis of uh, my business from last year to current year with respect to the revenue so what i need i need the data of last year and i also need the data of current year so from these two data i will uh, draw a trend and i will understand the business and what was the trend last year and what is the trend of this year trend is just to uh, see the points so what was the value last year at the at, at one point and what is the value this year at the same point so this is we uh, can get this information and we can analyze the business so this is what about data next is how was we storing the data and how are we storing the data previously there were a management system and that management system was the file management system right so name itself such is that what was it stand for basically so file management system was a management system which was managing the file we were storing the data in a files right so our uh, data was place was storing in a files what does it mean it means that we were maintaining a different file for storing the data in it for example uh, i want to store the student information so i was saving that student information in one file and then that student was moving to another department and then there was another file for that department so likewise we were having the different different file and we were maintaining the information in those file but there were a few limitation few issues we were facing with the file management system and now we are going to those we are going to discuss those issues now so the first one is data redundancy and inconsistency so what does it mean data redundancy means redundancy of a data what does it mean redundancy means duplicate of a same data from one place to another place so multiple places same data was present so that's what that was redundancy and that was the data redundancy problem next one inconsistency if if i am going to if i was going to update uh, some data at one place so that data was not updating at all places so by mistakely or intentionally sometime you know data was left the old data was not matching with the new data so that was an inconsistent problem next the difficulty in accessing the data as you know file management system was storing the data in a file so when one user requests to access the data the file was getting logged so other was waiting so that was the accessing issue next data isolation data was not uh, data isolation issues integrity problem atos atomicity problem then concurrent access anomalies so these are the few uh, problem we were facing with the file management system so industry understood that we need a new kind of system where we can store the data right so we uh, so industry came up with a new management system and that management system is a database management system so database management system was having a different models in it the we'll talk about it the network model then hierarchical model then relational database model right so these were the different model in those model the architecture was designed uh, 
now we are going to talk only about rdbms because we are more interested to learn it so relational database management system is a management system which has the relationship in between their objects so if there is a relationship between in their ob in the object we can say that management system as a database management system and that database management system as a relational database management system so a lot of company has developed their own product with uh, rdbms and like for example we have oracle oracle has developed their oracle mysql ms access and microsoft has developed the sql server likewise there are a lot of rdbms software in the market again one more important point uh, for rdbms relational database management system we have a new concept called as asset so every relational database management system should satisfy this asset properties we'll talk about that so acid stand for atomicity consistency isolation durability so a for atomicity what does it mean it means all or none all or none what does it mean it means that if something is in transaction so or that transaction should uh, should be done entirely or it should not be done if there is no other way all or none consistency once the uh, transaction has started and it got completed though the data would be consistent in all time isolation no other uh, no other transactions isolation if let's say there are multiple transaction running so no transaction should interfere each other that's called isolation durability let's say um, if server is started by some mis uh, by some issues or due to due to some server problem then if uh, then if there are pending transaction are left in the log so when it get started it will recover those transaction that's what the durability next is what is database so database is a container where we have a different object like the like a table function procedure views like this so this is what about the database you will also see one more option databases so databases is also container of database where we have the system database and other user defined database we'll talk about that in later what is sql sql is stand for a structured query language this is the query language which is responsible for querying the data from the relational database management system okay next is what is tsql tsql is a subset of sql uh, you know sometimes what happen we will have the lot of complex business logic we can't write that complex business logic in you know, a one part we need to write a series of a code to uh, to understand and to manipulate those business logic so that kind of procedural steps we call it as the tsql so tsql is is the set of uh, instruction which needs to be executed that we can call as a tsql basically these are the uh, set of instructions which is in a procedure format that we call as a tsql you may have also seen on the google that was the difference between the tsql and the psql so tsql is stand for the transact sql and the psql stand for procedural sql tsql is the uh, product is the part of the microsoft sql server and psql is, P is the part of the oracle database those are the different things but the uh, ideally those are same but names are different in sql server we call it as tsql in plsql uh, in oracle we call it as a plsql so what is sql server sql server is the product of microsoft which is responsible for storing retrieving the data from a database so these are the some general concept which we have just discussed in the next video onward we'll be talking about actual thing which are required for the sql server developer hope you like and understood the basic concept and general concept with respect to the database terminology and you enjoy it thanks for watching have a great day thanks